Yep. What's up, buddy? Hey, amigo. Como esta? Como esta? Beautiful. Beautiful? Thanks, man. Hasta pronto. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Hasta la vista. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Misha, aka Polska Genetics. And today, I'm gonna have my first plyometrics experience. I got invited by Brandon Brazier. You saw him in the last vegan vlog. He's a very, very inspiring guy. Was building up his brand Vega to a, yeah, international big supplement company and was able to inspire thousands of people with his book, The Thrive Diet. He's also a triathlon champion, how I call it in Germany. And that's the reason why I'm very pumped to do this with him and his friends. So I'm gonna drive up there right now. I'm gonna zip on this cold brew, even if it's very late. For the record, I had a leg workout in the morning, so I'm not gonna say that um, I'm gonna be worse because of that, but this is just how I personally approach uh, stuff like that. This is for me a supplement on my regular training. So just because I do a plyometric session, I can't really like say that I'm not gonna train my regular workout. So I had a few good squats, some good uh, leg curls, some abs workouts as well. So yeah, we'll see how this is gonna turn out. I'm very, very curious also about my pulse since I think that my cardiovascular health is pretty good. So that's also gonna be very interesting to see how high my pulse is gonna be today. Also, I'm around eight pounds lighter than I was 30 days ago. It's the last day of my shred or basically the second last day, but I'm very lean. So that could help me, that could be an advantage for me. And everything else, I'm pretty sure he's gonna tell us a little bit more. So I'm gonna drive there now and we see us on the field or playground or whatever, I don't know. There we are, nice drive, nice area here. Never been here so far. And it looks like we got some sun in June. Right now it's June gloom here in LA. That means everywhere on the beach, usually there is not a lot of sun. But here it looks quite good. I love the sun. And yeah, now we're gonna check out. There's a lot of gates. A lot of gates, so I'm gonna check where the entrance is and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do today. Hi! Hey, you looking for Tony's? I think so, yeah. You think so? I think so, yeah. I, 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 I got invited by Brandon. Oh, great. So I heard it's. Yeah. This is where the pain's gonna be, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, wow, big group. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> Hey. Hi. 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 Misha. Jared. Jared, nice What's to meet you. Name? Misha. Misha, Tony. You're to okay, you're I'm, the guy. you're the host. I'm the guy. I just told people that I'm gonna get roasted today. Yes. Roasted because for the protocol I never did something in this fashion. Oh okay. like I'm one of those meatheads, how you would call them, you know? <laughs> like one of those well, gold. Man has gotta know what a man is. <laughs> yeah. So I I'm just so so blasted to be here because it's yeah. like, you know, sometimes you feel like the comfort zone. It will, will be awful for him. <laughs> yes. So we're going to do deep squats, wide, toes out, touch the ground, simple reach up. And then come back to 40. No, don't bend over, just keep your foot down. Ready? Go. That was already pretty exhausting.
So far so good. Balancing was kind of hard, but uh, I'm still in. this leg. Come on, Kevin. Get high behind that motherfucking tree. Who would it go with? Switzerland, you say. Who would it go with? 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 The burn. The burn. A sprint. With that sprint, it burns. Oh, it burns. A sprint. Sprint. Yeah. a week once once a week for three years for three years yeah it's been a while jesus christ i wanted to show you this to see that i also can fuck up in some certain things but right now i feel like the fuck fuck up omater just went too high so over the last few exercises i'm gonna i'm just gonna put this off i'm gonna be right back i should have it on still come on let's, let's go, go. Misha. 
We did it, and it was just unbelievable. The serotonin output I had after the workout is just not comparable because I always say to people, also my TED talk, that you release serotonin after your like training session, but I think your body gets used to the stimulus. Like for example, if I train bodybuilding. I don't have the same ser serotonin output anymore as I would have after a session like that. So this was an extremely, extremely beneficial um, experience for me. Maybe I should have drinking this before some electrolytes because I'm not cramping right now, but the lactic acid is high. So I'm just going to ask him real, real quick what, his, what is your approach that I'm not going to be total sore tomorrow? Um, I would get an ice bath tonight. A nice bath. I would. I would cold water. Put cold. about two bags of ice and wait for them to melt. And when they melt, you can get out. Okay. And then maybe an Epsom salt bath after that. Mm -hmm. You know, and sit in that for twenty minutes. Absent? And take a Absent? bucket of a leave. <laughs> no. Okay, that was, that was that'll help. That'll help. And drink okay. a lot of that water. Yeah. And whatever kind of a post-workout recovery formula that you're into. Bye. My own. <laughs> He's got his own. Yeah. Damn. Nice and after my own heart right here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to send you some clothes over, man. Yeah, dude, it's I really, beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, thanks. That's, yeah. I always that's like to hear that. Yeah. Hey, by the way, just for, for my people, like, really, thank you for the, for the session. I'm going to come back for the stairs. He says he's going to come back. What do you think? What do you think the odds are? I think they're good. They're good, huh? Yeah, man. How you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Ciao, guys. And I'm back home. And I feel... I can't even describe how I feel right now. It's a mix in between excitement and just like very like, it's not a pain anymore, but it's like still like I feel that I'm gonna have, be in pain tomorrow because it's an extremely new stimulus I just had. Like I never do stuff like that and it was very hard. And that was one of the reasons why I want to do this video so bad because people always see me succeeding in what I'm doing with bodybuilding, with like eating. The whole eating schedule is always on point. And this is basically a display of how I also can be very bad in something. I can also fail. Because the reason why I actually succeed in what I'm doing is because I do it for already eight years. And sport is a big term. And sport can be so different in so many variations. And one of those variations is plyometrics, the stuff we did today, which I never do. And that was the reason why I 
also wasn't able to like execute everything. I even was like stopping one of the exercises because I just couldn't do it anymore. And maybe also because I did my leg session in the morning. But anyway, like I just want to show you this because social media is very, very superficial. You only see the perfect world. You only see the perfect behavior of people. You only see everything like from the outside and you think like everybody's perfect, but no. Everybody is weak in some point and even in the fields of sports what I'm doing what I'm executing I can be very weak and I still did it because if you want to get better in something You're gonna step out of your comfort zone and make it your comfort zone That's basically the whole thing I want to say so I'm gonna wrap this up with these last words and I hope you like this short little video and You can relate to this message and apply it into your life That's it people. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna keep you posted. Greetings from Marina Del Rey and see you soon. Peace, out. I almost forgot to show you the heart rate. So, as you can see, I was on around 120 at my highest while my squats, I guess, like somewhere in between my leg workout. And you see how I was pretty much over those 125. So over 120 at the end of the plyometric session. Which means that just from the heart rate, plyometrics was also a little bit more stressful for my cardiovascular system. Watch. What I actually expected, even a little bit higher to be honest, I thought I'm gonna be around 140. So 125 is still pretty okay. Uh, maybe if I would push it a little bit farther or a little bit harder, <laughs> I would go on the round 140, I don't know, but yeah, just that you know, pretty interesting to see what happens with your body when you're physically active. That's it.